we are going to talk about the Copernican Revolution. But what is it in the first place? Copernican Revolution is a major shift of worldwide views from believing that the Earth is the center of the universe to believing the Sun-centered solar system which is proposed by Nicholas Copernicus. To know more about this topic, let's dig more information that would help us understand it better. Before, there were two competing models of the solar system, the geocentric model and the heliocentric model. The geocentric model shows that the Earth is the center of the universe. This theory was supported by Aristotle and Ptolemy. For many years, people believed this theory as a fact. The geocentric model was not challenged until Nicholas Copernicus entered the scene. He made a manuscript called The Revolutionibus Orbium Celestium or On the Revolution of Heaven the Spheres, where he presented his discussion of the heliocentric model. He explained that the center of the universe is not the Earth but the Sun. The manuscript he made was not published immediately because it might cause a huge tear. The publication of his book made an impact to the people. It is safe to say that it became the start of the Copernican Revolution. There are people who gave evidences to the heliocentric theory which was proposed by Copernicus. These were Galileo Galilei, Tycho Brahe, and Johannes Kepler. Galilei's invention, which is the telescope, made him see the heavenly bodies clearer and provided facts that would support heliocentric theory. Tycho, on the other hand, used measurement to give a new interpretation of the solar system, while Kepler used calculus to give laws and formulas that would also prove the heliocentric theory. It was not easy because at first, the church was against heliocentrism. They believed the geocentric theory, so whoever is against it will be punished. But evidences were provided with the use of mathematics and technology. The heliocentric model is actually the true model of the solar system. The whole Copernican revolution was a way to seek out the truth. Its contribution to science, especially astronomy, is truly revolutionary. If not for it, we may still think that the Earth is at the center. The effort and knowledge of the people behind it must be appreciated and acknowledged, for without them, the truth about the nature and the environment we live in will not be known. The fact that we are aware of what the world and universe we are in is something to be grateful of.